You can't be serious about shaping a great America where all can thrive, where all can be free, be safe, and be alive if you don't mention the most profound contemporary social movement of our times. You can't be serious if you ignore the movement for black lives. During the presidential debates, Putin, Russia, ISIS, terrorism, and Iran were mentioned more times than the words race and racism. There were no substantive discussions about the disproportionate rates of incarceration of black people in the US. In fact, they talked more about Hillary being in jail. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. There was no mention of the Justice Department's plan to develop a federally mandated system to record shootings of civilians by police so we can truly assess the problem. There was no mention of the Fraternal Order of Police's endorsement of Trump, a candidate whose campaign has been fueled by racism. Representatives of several dozen black organizations and groups across the country have developed a robust policy platform that offers a vision of justice. It identifies policy failures and how we can move forward as a nation. But this platform went unmentioned too. Trump supporters have compared Black Lives Matter activists to terrorists. So it's no surprise he didn't address racism in any meaningful way during the debates. But what about Clinton? She used to say Black Lives Matter almost daily during a primary contest. But she's hardly said anything about racial justice during the debates with Trump. It's absolutely on a moderator to ask the right questions. And voters are right to be outraged that race did not come up even once during a Washington University debate, which took place just 16 miles from Ferguson, Missouri. But if either candidate actually cares about the plight of black Americans, it's on them to actually talk about the issues that matter to black people, even when unprompted. If Clinton wants to convince black Americans she's ready to deal with the ugly institutional racism that shapes everything from laws to wealth gaps in the US, she'll have to do and say more. We can't lose sight of the fact that these issues will not go away until we address them. It's up to us to push the next president into action.